all ages scavenger hunt at the Central Library this Saturday. Scavenger hunt is a way for families to learn about the library's offerings for all ages during the summer and all year. From a matter of fact, the library says those who fill out the scavenger hunt card will win a special prize. Saturday's event runs from 1030 a.m. to 1230 p.m. at 600 Soledad. All that information can be found on KSAT.com. We made it up to 94. We'll be near 100 this afternoon. It says lower humidity there. I want to make sure people understand there's still humidity. It's just lower than it has been. So there's still going to be a heat index somewhere around 100, 304 mm. uh, each and every day going into the weekend. Uh, we'll see temperatures in the triple digits. It's not until next week that we'll start to get uh, some slight relief and maybe a few rain chances. That's painful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did you see all the flavors of all the, um, what was the one? Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles and yeah. Oreo? And like? They were talking about how Fruity Pebbles was one of their favorite cereals. I guess you cereals. just dip it in anything you want and go to town. There, you know, Paletta's have come a long way. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. SA Live starts right now. It smells so good in here. That's what they hear all day long at Spread the Lows. We're at their new brick and mortar in Old Town Holotus. And this right here might be why it smells so delicious. Today, we're making their signature sourdough bread. And it's the hottest party in town. For kids, we visit the only fire truck party experience in the Alamo City. Is your dad the sweetest guy around? That's what my boys say. A young <laughs> champion baker is here to show us a Father's Day treat that any kid can do. It's today on a dad-tastic episode of SA Live. <laughs> Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Well, you know, a great way to cool off in this summer heat is enjoying some ice cream. Well, a recent survey broke down the most loved ice cream flavors in each state, kind of by the number of Google searches, okay? Right. Top Texas, five ice cream flavors. Coming in at number five, cookies and cream. Okay. I believe it. Yeah. Uh, number four, chocolate. Number three, Rocky Road. Okay. All right. Uh, number two, vanilla. And number one, and we're still kind of, you know, questioning this one, Neapolitan. Which, which is... I know, I agree with you, it's three flavors. Yeah. Okay, it's three flavors. It's the, it's, yeah, it's all which, of the above. It would be yeah, so everything there. Now, right there, of course, you can scan that QR code mm -hmm. and vote. So we've got uh, chocolate, vanilla, and then strawberry and Neapolitan mm -hmm. are kind of tied. So what would your favorite be? Uh, chocolate. That's pretty good. I know, it is, I, I you know. Summer, summertime, I just strawberry is just mm -hmm. very refreshing, mm -hmm. but kind of on the rocky road side, oh, vanilla with, uh -huh. a little, with uh, dry roasted peanuts mm -hmm. on top and a little bit of chocolate sauce. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, yes. Maynard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. all right, Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. All right, so our first guest has been helping San Antonio beat the heat with their cool treats for eight years with flavors like bubblegum, fruity pebbles, and mango nata. You know what? They got something for everyone. And Jerry Rodriguez and his boss, Ariel, owner of <laughs> San Antonio, here to give us a taste of their cool concoctions. So, yeah, David and Ursula were like, how many different flavors? What do they put on that? You can put anything in there? Anyway, welcome. Mm -hmm. 90, how many? Six. 96 About 96, flavors. yeah. And Ariel, do you approve of the flavors? Yeah. Or do you test out any flavors? I love all of them. You love all of you them. Love all of them. She's been she's been trained. She is, she is like, you have to have kind of one that you want to go. If you have them all spread out, which one are you gonna pick? Like to eat? Yeah. Watermelon. 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 Okay. Okay. Watermelon. So that's your favorite. That's, that's okay. Refreshing. So, okay. okay. How did you come up with Paulette? And by the way, happy anniversary today. How many years? Thank you. Uh, we just hit eight years. Eight wow. Years. Yeah. Eight years, long years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for hot summers and poetas out there. So, so and when folks come in, what are the most popular ones? Uh, so our top flavors is going to be Oreo. Uh -huh. It's a milk base, and then on the water base, the mango nada. And it doesn't just start here because folks can top them, right? Yeah. So all these toppings we have at our store, um, uh -huh. any type of sour, it's a sweet, and then you can add Lucas chamoy. Which one uh, was the watermelon area? Yeah. Which one? That one. That one. Okay. Do you want it? Thank you. Oh, oh. she's so sweet. <laughs> okay. So I can top this with, mm -hmm. with any, any candies thing. you'd like. Okay. Okay. Um, what flavor is this? That is pineapple. Well, that's pineapple. And what, what would go with this one? Mango nada. Oh, let's do the mango nada. Okay. Now, what can I top this with? What would you recommend? So, 
Lucas and chamoy. Lucas and chamoy. All right, how do I go about it? You just dip, dip it, it, and then okay. with a spoon, you throw Lucas on there. Okay, just like this? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, this watermelon tastes like biting into a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Frozen? Yeah, a frozen and then watermelon. You want to put that it on is plate, so nice and, and then just Now, just a lid on. between the milk-based and the water-based, oh, kind of the popsicle ones, what do people go for most? Um, between the milk-based and the... And the water base, or is that kind of a split? It, it's just their personal preference. I mean, they're both great. Mm -hmm. um, if you're feeling a little milky, you go with the milk base. Mm -hmm. um, or if you just want to refresh yourself a little bit, a little bit more, the water base. The this almost one. seems like on, on the really hot summer days that the water base one is the one that's going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go for it? I am going to go for <laughs> it. You might have to finish this Ooh, interview, yeah. but okay. Uh, but before I do, um, you have uh, you serve up things besides paletas, right? So we do the mangonada cups, we do fruit, mm. fruit bowls as well, um, hot cheetos and cheese. Wait, hot cheetos? Hot cheetos and cheese. On a paleta? No, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, hey, that's, 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 that's not a bad that's idea. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. We may have just come up with the 97th flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Will you name it the the SA Live if you do the hot Cheetos? Yeah, yeah, and, and definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. definitely will. We got our name on a it. I love it, that. Mike. And <laughs> you are located right in the heart of downtown, right? In Hemisphere. And you've been down there for for eight old? for eight years. For eight years. And you got to start with your parents being in the restaurant business. My parents were in the restaurant business, <clears throat> and then my dad associated with some ice cream guys. Um, I got through in, and then we we're fortunate enough. We we're blessed to open up our own shop there in Hemisphere. Now, you, you could do events too, right? Weddings, what else? Weddings, quinceaneras, uh, any corporate events, corporate events mm -hmm. birthday parties, baby showers. Mm -hmm. And the best part about it is, they bring their own the card. That's a small one, right? That's a small <laughs> one. That one fits about 100, and then our bigger one fits, so we have two bigger ones. One fits 500, yeah. and the other one fits 600. So there's still more down in here too. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there! What are you doing? Well, of course there are. So, all right. And your hours downtown? Um, Twelve to nine. Okay. Okay. We're closed on Mondays. We're well, starting. Well, now it's summer, so we'll be open seven days a week. I was gonna say. They're probably yeah, <laughs> nonstop right now. Exactly. Okay. Everybody needs a cool treat. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're right, the watermelon. Yeah. Good advice. I need to listen to you more often. So. <laughs> Ariel, thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you, Joey. For more information on Palateria San Antonio, just snap that QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the ask scene on SA Live tab. All right, well, from farmer's markets to a brick and mortar, Spread the Loaves Bakery is all about made from scratch sourdough. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Some fun facts about sourdough bread. It's said to be easier to digest and it supports gut health. So our Jen Tobias Strusky was excited to find out the process of her favorite bread. I'm here with Sophie Jeffrey, the owner at Spread the Loaves, and I'm Hello. so excited to be here. I love sourdough bread, first awesome. of all. Well, you came to the right place. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is your thing, and you're going to show me the process today, right? Yeah, How for you sure. guys make it with love? Yeah, we're going to use the magic of uh, television, you know? So um, we use very simple ingredients for our sourdough. Um, this is kind of scaled to just one loaf, but we're mixing quite a bit more than that every day. Um, <laughs> We just do uh, water, and then this is our sourdough starter. Um, so it's nice and bubbly and airy. We're just gonna kind of scoop that in there. Can you explain to our viewers about the starter and the importance of that? Yeah, so sourdough starter is what makes the bread um, sourdough. Um, it's a natural occurring yeast um, that gets in the air, and it actually pulls the bacteria from the air. So my starter actually smells a little different from when I moved into this bakery than it did at my house, which is kind of wow. fun. Wow. Um, but it's just a more natural way to rise bread. So, and then we just do regular bread flour, and it is an unbleached flour, which is nice. And then just a little salt, and that's it. That's all of our ingredients. If we're doing a flavored loaf, um, the flavors are exactly what the ingredients are in it. So, like yesterday, we had a sun-dried tomato and Parmesan loaf. Today, we had a chocolate chip loaf, Ooh. and it's just this dough with those things added into it. And so, the starter is what really makes it that sourdough, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it um, makes it a little easier to digest. It gives it that nice. Um, flavor and we hand mix like all of our sourdough, especially the loaves. Um, mm -hmm. So this is what we do just on a larger scale. Um, just kind of incorporate most of the flour and then we let it sit mm -hmm. for 
probably about 30, 25, 30 minutes. And then we do the next step, which yes. is magic of TV. Move stuff around. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, this is the stretch and folds process. So you're gonna wanna develop that um, gluten strength in okay. the dough. So what we do is we just take like um, the corner edge of it and oh. then stretch it and pull, fold it on o over itself. So if you wanna try, yes. you can. Okay. It feels kind of fun and so to play with. So yeah, so you're gonna yeah. grab like as much as you can from underneath <laughs> okay. and then just pull it up and fold it over itself. Yeah. Mm, and as fun. you do these, the <laughs> dough will um, be stronger. Like this one has been sitting for a little while, um, so it's already pretty taut. But basically, you want to keep doing these stretch and folds until you can see through it. Wow. So this one is almost there already. It's like it's an exercise for the yes, bread. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wow, makes it stronger. When you first start doing them, the dough will just rip like that. Oh, yeah. okay. So I see what you mean. You just keep doing them until. Um, it has that gluten strength developed, yeah. And this is something you said it was your resolution, right? In, yeah, in my New Year's resolution was to learn how to make bread and I just fell in love with sourdough. And then, so uh, once the dough um, has been stretched and folded and uh -huh. the gluten is developed, we actually throw ours in the fridge in the tubs okay. overnight. So they get an extra long fermentation here at Spread the Loaves. Then the next day we pull the dough out so this is dough that we made yesterday. Um, got it. And so wow. it's got the gluten developed. And then it's all this strong is, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like lighter. You can kind yeah. of poke it. You can feel the air oh, in it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So this is where we do the final shape. Um, this is just like a little pre-shape. But this is the shape before it goes into our baskets. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your favorite thing about sourdough? Because like you said, it's easier to digest, right? Yeah, honestly, this. Like, it's just so <laughs> soothing, and I can just turn my mind off and just, nice. like, shape my loaves of bread. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, it's relaxing. Yes, it's <laughs> bread very therapy. therapeutic. Bread yeah. therapy. <laughs> Sign me up. Yes. Yeah. So we do a little pre-shape. We let it set for, like, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll do the final shape, and this is what makes it look like um, a loaf. I'm rushing it because, you know, yeah. TV. But... So, so there's that, that and then it gets here. kind of dipped into some rice flour so it doesn't stick um, to the banneton. And Ooh. then we put these in the fridge again, yep. overnight again. So our sourdough is a three-day process. Okay. So it gets extra long This goes in the fridge. Yep. Now it's time. And then the last step is to score it. Okay. And it goes in the oven. So we just kind of tip it out of the basket. Look at that. And then this is like our standard score for our regular loaves. So we do one deep slash um, down the middle, and then we do these deep kind of wheat stalks. Yes. Okay, I see it. I could see it done with yeah. this. Now it all makes sense. So it's the, definitely a science, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this slash right here tells the dough, the bread, where I want it to expand. Got so it. So when it gets in the oven, it's going to go bloop, and then these are just decorative. But, Beautiful. Um, yeah. Then well, you can see all the, you know, fermentation, the bubbles and stuff. And that, that's the way it's supposed to look. You see that? <laughs> You've obviously mastered this. Thank now, you. Now, it, later in the show, we're going to see the finished, what the finished bread looks yeah. like, and maybe a few other items on your menu, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. We make um, everything fresh day of, so yeah. Lots Perfect. Of All right. Uh, thank you for showing me the process. Of course. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that looks so delicious. I can almost smell yeah, the fresh bread. I love right sourdough now. bread. I know. You know, I know warm I know, hunk of crusty mm -hmm. bread like that, mm -hmm. slathered in butter, butter, butter. It's that okay. Will, it's, it's, yeah, he's he's, uh, uh, he's all sugared up on the bread. I know. I am. For more information on Spread the Low Step and QR code on your screen, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Slathered in butter. The lesser known spread. Yes. Brother. 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 Honey butter, that's good too. Oh, I love honey yeah. butter. Yeah. All right, sweet treats to celebrate the main man in your life. The young local baker shows us a show stopping Father's Day dessert that's easy enough for a kid to make. But first, Father's Day might be more than a week away, but we're cheersing to Dad today. Why this top shelf gift might be perfect for the top tier dads, that's next on SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, let's raise a glass to the super dads in our lives. If your top-notch pop likes to relax with a nice cocktail, at the end of the day, we found a whiskey that might be the perfect gift. Ah, I get it. Sebastian, everybody, our good friend, the manager of Brand Advocacy at William Grant and Sons, is here with some great cocktails. And if you want to get Dad a really special gift, yeah, this is this is it. This is it. Sip whiskey. What about the most awarded single malt in the planet? 
as a gift. Right? So yeah, what makes right. it so great? It, it's, it's been a family business since 1887. Uh, the quality of the ingredients, the distillation, the aging process, the savoir faire, everything. Yeah. I thought you were shooting the bottle. I'm no, sorry. I, what? I hope this thing did. No. I apologize. So. Okay. <laughs> I know. That's why he loves me so much. Anyway, so right. classic, uh, one you hear a lot in when somebody's ordering a highball. Yes. I always thought that that was kind of a, a generic term, but it's actually the name of this cocktail. It, it's the same when you talk about whiskey, yeah. yeah. And it's very simple, as you're going to uh, discover here. We're going to put a couple of uh, parts of Glenfiddich, 12 years old, mm -hmm. straight into your glass. The quality of the ice is important. You don't want too much dilution. And the quality of the bubbles, as I call it, uh, with the soda water here is key. Uh, it's refreshing, it's delicious, and it doesn't spoil the whiskey. It's just elevated in a different way, okay? Yeah. And it's gonna go very well here. Your garnish is just right there. Oh, okay. It's gonna go very well here because this is not a smoky whiskey. This is fruity. It's a single malt based in Scotland in the region of Speyside, and the whiskey over there are generally fruity. So oh, very nice. nice and easy, refreshing. It's yeah, if you like don't that. want to do like a vodka mm -hmm. tonic or something like that, this just is... Just for whiskey highball. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice little one, especially on a hot summer day like Yeah, that, yeah, so. exactly, exactly. That's one of my go-to. All right, and so over here we're just making the classical The fashion, classical right? fashion, right? Okay. So we're going to use a couple of uh, a dash of chocolate bitters here. We're going to okay. innovate a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little squeeze mm -hmm. of simple syrup. Okay. And then we're going to use our 14 years old Glenfiddich, which is aged exclusively in bourbon casks. So for the bourbon lovers, this okay. is the one you want to go for. Uh, two ounces, so we're going to get the other one. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. So two it's bars, scotch with a little bit of a bourbon kind of a... Yeah, 100%. Instant. It's aged in bourbon cask, ex-bourbon cask, and then finish in New York barrels at the end of the process for an extra few months. So it's got all this vanilla toffee notes that people but love. But it's still like, scotch. But it's still scotch. Okay. Made with malted barley, 100% malted barley. Yes, the traditional way. Which is what uh, Straight scotch. into the glass. Yeah, that's right. Scotch, right? You're doing great. Look at you. Though. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. Look. Perfect. That well, little, little special touch with the orange peel on top. Ooh, fancy. You know? Voila. And then if you really want to go, mm -hmm. yes. you can get... Yes. This is what yeah. you want to you know, get to your father if you want like the, the son of the year. <laughs> uh, this is the very special one. This is a luxury you know, single malt and this is one of our, our prim like super premium in the range, right? 21 years in cask, finished in carbine cask, so it's a cask that contains rum. Uh, beforehand, so we extract the whiskey from the aging process. We put in a cask which contain rum, and let it sit here for a few extra months. Now, some people might say, "Okay, you've got this, you know, just wonderful, wonderful scotch mm -hmm. right there. Yep. Why not? Why, you know, mix it? That's right. But you know, sometimes you have to push the boundaries a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, and go extra fancy. So, what about a dakiri, which is basically mm -hmm. uh, a rum mm -hmm. sour, technically? Well, we're going to do a dakiri with a 21 years old Glenfiddich. Okay. And you're going to see that it's delicious, it's decadent, and uh, if it's your favorite dad, uh, <laughs> why not, you know? And it works with that one, but not the others, right? It, just that yes, one. just that one, because this one has, mm -hmm. been, has been finished right. in, in rum, which contain, uh, sorry, in cask, which contain rum, rum before. So it does have those rich toffee, banana, and, fig flavors. And like you were saying, if you mm -hmm. went with the cheap stuff, mm -hmm. you could put them yes. side by side and you'd be able to taste the difference even in like a, a highball like that, right? Yes, that's okay. the thing. If you do that, so I'm gonna reach oh, here, put the ice. If you do that with another type of whiskey, you will taste it different. And I invite people to do it side by side. Grab a cheap whiskey at home, do it like that, and just grab single malts, you know, Glenfiddich single malts, and do it again. And you can buy all of these at... All you can buy this at any liquor store. Uh, the Glenfiddich 12 years old will go around, you know, $60 mark, depending on your liquor store. Okay. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more at hand, so around $220. Uh, but like I say, this is the best gift for your dad. It's for dad. Yeah, yeah it's for dad. I mean, well, if you'd like more information on Glenfiddich, just snap the QR code on your mm -hmm. screen. Go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Good seeing you, guys. There you go. My Thank pleasure. You. Always a pleasure. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious. <laughs> Wait, this think, is for you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah My you pleasure. pass this over. Uh, My mm -hmm. pleasure. Here Voila. we go. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. There you go. Let me, let me taste it. Tell me. Right. Tell me. Hold on. Ooh. That's good stuff. Ah, <laughs> yes. Stuff. You see? That's Whoa, all right. Well, he is our main man, and we're celebrating Mike Osterhage's time on SA Live by looking back at some of the most micable moments and finding out who exactly was running through his head at the time. Turning a campfire into a cookie. We're making a dad delicious treat with a young national champion baker, but hopefully she doesn't judge us on our skills. <laughs> Those 
aren't the cutest things ever. We're gonna show you how to make those in a second. First of all, welcome back. Our next guest has already won a Food Network Baking Championship, and she doesn't even have her driver's license. And the impressive youngster has also been in H-E-B commercials, runs her own business, maintains an A honor roll in school. I what mean, doesn't this child do? Yes, what an intro. Lila Smithers from Lila's Butterbomb Bakery is here to help make sure our dads have the sweetest Father's Day ever. And happy birthday because today is your birthday. That's Thank your you. That's your, you are in charge of one thing. <laughs> one thing. What? Oh my God. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's why I'm not in charge Happy of special effects. Happy birthday. Happy yes. birthday. Sorry, oh besides God. doing everything, mm -hmm. did you, how'd you come up with this idea? I love the campfire cookies. Thank you. Yeah. They, um, we saw it on Instagram from mm -hmm. Food Network. We were like, that is super cute and how perfect would that be for like a dad themed dessert? Okay. So how, why not? How do we get started? So we're gonna start with our sugar cookies. Okay. And then we have some green royal icing here. Okay. So if y'all want to, y'all can just spread a little bit of that on the cookie. Okay. And oh, then okay. we'll take three of these right yes. here. So tell us about this H-E-B commercial that you did. It was for Mother's Day, actually. So we did, it was called Bake Mom's Day, Aww. and it was super fun. Me and Elsie and Anaya got to do it together, and it was super cool, really. We got to bake at the H-E-B headquarters, and we got to meet their head chef, which was really cool. Wow, so, really? It was a super fun day. Okay, and not only does she win Food Network's Baking, but the list of accolades that she has gotten, received the proclamations in the city from San Antonio, from Bear County, received the Presidential Service Award for hours of community service and just a couple of days ago from the city of Seguin, right? Yes. So what'd you get from them? Um, in Seguin, every June 4th will be considered Lila Smethurst Day. Okay, okay. now I've, I've cleaned these things. Yes, you just I had a lot of trouble with the little thing, so I, do I Press go? the back, oh, it's okay, already yeah, turned is, on. Oh my god. So <laughs> you were in charge of like two this. things. Okay, now just press the back button. Turn on the gas. See. There yes. we go. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't mess that one up. There, there, okay, that's enough. Okay. Gotta blow it have, <laughs> it's, a, it's a campfire. It is a campfire. So, uh, would you trust him in your kitchen? With you? Perhaps. <laughs> With, okay. with non-sharp okay. objects out here. And for Dad also, I love the the greens here, the putting greens. Thank you. That's yes. fantastic. What's your favorite thing to bake? Mm, it depends on what the day is, really, like what season it is. Some days in the summer I like to make fruit stuff, and in the winter chocolatey kind of stuff, so just kind of whatever we feel like. What was your favorite part about being part of the National Baking Channel, you know, like on the Food Network? Um, I would definitely say getting to meet all the people there, getting to meet Devin Val, the behind the scenes people, and um, really just my whole cast of all the other kids was really fun to get to be with other kids who like to bake just as much as I do. Plans for the summer? Um, really not much. We're just sort of doing similar stuff to this all summer. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll have a little bit of relaxed time, but other than that, not really. Would you, since you'd be starting what grade next year? Eight. Okay, so to all of her teachers, um, maybe you, know, you, you kind of like give them a couple of baked goods, go here, dear teachers. I do, yeah. Special. Really? I think so, yeah. 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 Okay. I, bet you're, I bet you're the favorite student in class with all the baked goods, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> How can folks order from you? Um, I have a website, it's mm -hmm. called lilasbutterbombbakery.com and you can just go send an email to the website asking about what you want to order. And my mom, who is my manager slash momager, <laughs> will email you back. For more information on Lila's Butterbomb Bakery, you just snap the QR code on your screen or just go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, she sure hasn't been loafing around. Our Jen Dubai-Dreski shows us how her sourdough bread turned out and the other delicious items on the menu at a local bakery. And we're celebrating our Silva Fox. It's some of the moments that our Mike Osterhage will never forget and some he probably wishes he could. We relive them <laughs> one more time. It's straight ahead on SA Live.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, he is the Batman to my Robin, the Thelma to my Louise. I wanted to be Louise. The Mr. Shh, the Mr. Miyagi <laughs> to my Karate Kid. And we are taking some time to celebrate our Mike Osterhage by looking back at some of the most micable moments on SA Live because he will be retiring soon. Yep. Three more, a little more than I'm three I'm trying weeks. not to cry. Okay, I, now we're gonna learn a little bit about what went on behind the scenes and you know, kind of what was in your head at the time in these moments, okay, so. Not much, but. All right, <laughs> <laughs> well that's, that's, that's. Goes okay. saying, Yeah, so. exactly. Um, so we're gonna give you a hint, okay, and All you right. have to guess the moment. So for the first one, the hint is, this was your welcome to SA Live. You know, the first day you were officially, officially a member of the team, and you know how I love it when we break into song. Was, was it the water balloons you threw at me? No. That okay. wasn't on the first day. Okay. I anyway, wouldn't have scared um, you like that on the first you guys, day. Didn't you guys, it was that, that music video thing. Oh, yes. Okay, this is okay. a video that is okay. so bad. It's the talent so in bad. this. No, it's so bad, no, you guys. It, I, I can't believe it's getting more airtime. Look, it's Here sheer we go. talent. Who do you think? Dad? He was more like oh, a weatherman. Well, he was the head, well, so he came and co hosted <laughs> SA Live once in a while. He's got muscles and he's funny. Oh, with a smile. Okay, <clears throat> so um, what ran through your head when you saw this besides. Uh, I. <laughs> the, again, the, the sheer talent Stop of the. Stop it! Right there, oh my so. gosh! I tell um, you, okay, and the lyrics, they were written by Ted okay. and David. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's that floating head. It kind of sort of rhymes there, so. I know. No, it's just, <laughs> well, and this is just, just a perfect example of the, seriously, the talent and creativity. Yeah. And you were surprised. You didn't know that this was going to air. I had no idea air. this was coming no. up, so. Uh -huh. yeah. we, we all were, we all did. I was dreading it. Yeah. Okay, all right. So the hint for this next one is boom, boom. Oh, the, 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 uh, the cannon, the drive tank thing. Was that it? Absolutely. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> what kind of armor would this thing have? It, it would go through a Sherman. Fire in the hole! Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I got to drive mm -hmm. a World War II Sherman tank. Yep, okay, so what was it? Yeah, thing, what was it like? The clutch on that thing, I mean, it took your entire, both legs basically to put the clutch Look in Look at there, how so happy you are. That was a <laughs> Blast! No pun intended. Driving that tank. I know you got to, to shoot the gun. Mm -hmm. and well, you got to do the 50 caliber. Yeah, so I got to yeah. shoot the 50 caliber as well. Which mm -hmm. 50 caliber was a blast as well. Mm -hmm. Right there, that was just great. But yeah, shooting the 50 caliber and driving the tank. That's one of those things. Bucket list. Mm -hmm. Check. Did you hit yeah. everything but the target? I think so. No, it was going. It was going through. <laughs> I, I'm joking. I kept I'm shooting. I kept I'm shooting joking. in the hole I had already hit. So. Yeah, okay. I was that good of a shot. All right, here is the next <laughs> micable moment, and there is the hint. You are now really officially a part of SA Live. It was something that happened on the show that basically, you know, baptized you into our crew. Baptized me? I would have to say if I was baptized that way by the goat. Was that it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are now really officially part of SA Live. Cutest little baby goat. And. If you have children, every once in a while you'll go, oh, that warm, what is it? Oh, that warm feeling. And of course I was wearing a light blue shirt and beige pants, so couldn't hide that. And, and, and then that's the when we decided everything was on the show's wash and wear. And then the funny thing was, Fiona went and got paper towel and tried to wrap paper I towel do. around it, and then the mama goat kept eating the paper towel. Yes, and it was this. Again, I had to stay like this for the next hour. <laughs> And, it was and that's at, why you always have an extra shirt here it now. It was <laughs> warm at first, and then it cooled off, so. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sweet little goat, just not potty trained. <laughs> 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 yes, and that was my baptism. All right. Well,
Well, we hope you enjoyed those moments as much as we did. Sound the alarm because it's time to party. We get a preview of a one-of-a-kind way to celebrate and why it's perfect for summer or for your kids' birthday parties. You don't want to miss it. And she is a rising star in the bread world. Our Jen Tobias Strusky shows us her first finished sourdough and what else this local bakery is pulling hot out of the oven. And don't forget to weigh in on our question of the day, which classic ice cream flavor is best? There are the choices on your screen. Scan that QR code and weigh in right now. Vanilla's in the close second mm -hmm. though. It's catching up to chocolate. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this next segment is fresh and hot out of the oven. Yep, time to check back in with Jen Tobias Strusky, who is learning the art of sourdough making over there at Spread the Lows, and time to see the finished goods. Hey, Jen. Okay, this is the sourdough that you saw just a while ago earlier on the show and with the magic of television, <laughs> right? 50 minutes later exactly. that we sped it up, this is the finished sourdough. Tell me about this, we're about to cut it, right Yeah, Sophie? yeah, we're gonna show off the inside and have you taste it, of course. So um, every day we have a regular sourdough loaf, of course, and then we like to play around with different flavors, um, usually mm -hmm. seasonal flavors and some fan favorites. So we usually have one flavored, at least one flavored loaf every day of the week. Um, so that's the inside. That. We'd Whoa. like to go for a nice squishy crumb. Mm, that looks perfect. Um, so it's nice and crispy on the outside, but soft and fluffy on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'll cut you off a piece. Of Thank you. Taste. You read my mind. So <laughs> like, am I drooling? <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. And what, which um, seasonal did you have today? For today example? we did mm -hmm. a chocolate chip loaf. Oh, so yeah. it was this dough with just mini chocolate chips all over mm -hmm. inside. Um, and then we also had a cheddar, garlic, and dill loaf. So cubes my of cheddar goodness. cheese, roasted garlic cloves, and then fresh. Still, my goodness, felt amazing. like a good pre-summer loaf for me. That you sounds know? amazing, and these look amazing. So you also have sandwiches? Yeah, so we do um, a sourdough focaccia every single day. This was today's focaccia, so it has honey goat cheese, prosciutto, and arugula. Mm. Um, if you're looking for a quick snack. We like to avoid food waste, food waste as much as possible, so we started using leftover breads um, to make some grab-and-go sandwiches. Very nice. um, those are made on Thursdays and Fridays. Mm -hmm. um, my partner Justin does um, all of the sauces in house too, so this one has like a lemon garlic aioli on it too. Wow. And we usually have a vegan option as well that mm -hmm. typically has like a hummus or a baba ganoush or something like that on it. Nice. So options, plenty of options. And yeah. I love that you have the hamburger buns too. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's something we're going to start rolling out over the summer. It's mm -hmm. grilling season, right? Mm -hmm. Although it's Texas, so it's like always grilling season. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Good point. Always um, a good time. So we some. use our brioche dough, which is super flavorful and yummy. Um, we also make a really yummy challah. Those are available on Fridays. And then just an array of sweets and oh my goodness. delicious goodies. Okay. <laughs> so you've got the cinnamon rolls, but then this one's really cool because you mixed in fruit, right? Yeah, so we usually always have cinnamon rolls and then a fruit flavored roll too. So this week's special is the peach cobbler roll. So it's got Fredericksburg peach preserves, mm. um, a strudel on there, and sometimes we'll add like a little cream cheese icing too, but it's all about the peaches, you know? Yes, of course, in the summer, definitely. Exactly. And, and your new location you used to be at the farmer's market, so now you're here in Old Town Hello. Yeah. Yeah, we're really excited to have a home bakery. Um, this space opened up and I just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. So we're really happy to be here in Holotus. Wonderful. Okay, so people can obviously walk in, get your sweets, get of a course. sandwich, get some holla bread, <laughs> and just come and say hi, right, to yeah. your team here. Wonderful. Well, for more information, you can head to our website, salive.com. <laughs> Click the as seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. And I have to say, if you need some bread, <laughs> come see Sophie, holla at her. Okay, there we go. That's the shirt your friend made you. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. yeah. You have to give her friend credit because she made that shirt. All right, I'm going to send it back to you, Mike and Fiona. Maybe I'll uh, take Great something. Example. Something, right? We'll pack up something. Yeah. All right. This Thank is you. so good, Sophie. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Get ready to get fired up for your next kid's birthday party. We're going to tell you about a new truck in town that brings all the fire truck fun to you. All right, you 
you could have your next kid's birthday party get really fired up. Joining me right now is TJ Green, owner of Fantastic Fire Department of San Antonio. And what you see behind us, this is what can come to your party, right TJ? That's right. All right, what do we got behind us? So what we have behind us is a full on fire truck. Uh, we're able to do birthday parties, community events, water days, foam parties, you name it, we can do it. If you have an event, we can cater a program specifically for you and manage any number of kids. And so this is great, especially going into a South Texas spring or summer. Oh, yeah. The water days have got to be incredibly popular. What can we do with the water, TJ? So we have, we have water activities set up all over the place. Not only can the kids play with the water, they can get in the fire truck, try on authentic gear. We can get a foam party going. Really, the, the sky is the limit. It's ultimately just what you want to do. And do they get to hold the fire hose? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. Okay, that's got to be incredibly cool for kids. So tell me their reactions. It, it, from, the moment we drive, from the moment we drive up, they see the big red truck. It's just eyes light up and they don't ever close. And so you mentioned they can climb up into the fire truck. Has it been kind of retrofitted for kids? Yes, so it, it's made it's made designed so that kids can go through from one side to the other. Multiple kids can get in there. Great picture opportunities for schools, parents, and birthday kids. All right, and so if somebody wants to have this at their event, what do they need to do? So they can take a look on Fantastic Fire Department, and that's DEPT.com. Um, contact us or reach out to us at 210-281-1433. All right, and what kind of packages do you have? So um, we have two main um, birthday packages, uh, one of which is our standard one-hour package. You get all the water activities up in the truck um, and trying on uh, authentic gear. And then we have our ultra, a 90 minute ultra foam party where we do everything on the standard package as well as a foam party and we can do it all in a standard um, neighborhood driveway. You know what's cool, Fiona? Ooh. If it's a birthday party, the birthday kid gets to do something pretty awesome. What's that? They get to honk the horn. Really? My birthday's coming up this year. Can I? Uh, go ahead. Do I just pull this? Yep. All right. Uh. Ah! <laughs> For more information on the fantastic fire department, San Antonio, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Tomorrow on SA Live, we celebrate National Donut Day with a local donut shop that's making Texas-sized treats and other delightful creations. Plus, they played with B.B. King, Gary Clark Jr., and Willie Nelson. We're rocking with the sounds of the Peterson Brothers. This Texas duo shares their love for music, family, and Texas with our Jen. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. All right, we asked you to weigh in which classic ice cream flavor is the best out of those on the screen and chocolate still in the lead, 37%. Okay, Neapolitan, even though that story we did said it was number one in Texas, that's mm -hmm. in fourth place. And across the nation, Neapolitan was number one too, according to that survey. Interesting. Right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, here's one more micable moment uh, that we want to share. And I consider this one, this was before you were officially our, our, ho our host on SA Live, and I consider this your audition. I, I, I think this is what got you the part. This right here. When I'm, yeah. when I'm, Where did you get that onesie that you're wearing? I, I don't know. I, I think, think it was. It, I don't know. Are you sure? I think I saw it in your locker.